Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here, and welcome to the High Road and to the Eastern Cape of South Africa. We're on today's program. I'll be joined by my co-host, Johnny Piazza, and we'll be hunting in some of the most beautiful country you've ever seen. You know, when you go to Africa, odds are you're gonna go for multiple species of animals. That's what we do anyway. And the video that you're gonna see on today's program comes from actually one safari we've gone on with Hunter Seal Safaris. Now, Hunter Seal Safaris in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, they primarily hunt for plains game, but we have done lots of hunting there. And so the video that you're about to see is just a small portion of the hunts that we did on that safari. If you wanna see all the other hunts, all you need to do is go to our YouTube channel and check them out there. We've got tons of other hunts. You know, coming over to Africa, it's a long trip. Right, a lot of money and resources go into making it happen. So when you come over here, you want to make sure that you're going to be going with a good outfitter. Now, as far as South African outfitters go, you cannot get better than Hunters Hill Safaris. The thing that Hunters Hill has is good people, good, honest people, and an awesome setup. You know, you're going to get to hunt a variety of species, more species than you can imagine, all on one property. It's all centralized, it's all localized, it's a totally professional operation. And as far as hunting in South Africa goes, you literally cannot get better than Hunter's Hill. Impala are cool little animals. I say little because they're probably, I'm guessing, around 80 pounds. They have really short reddish hair. Uh, their horns are neatly curved and they are really tasty. Uh, they're not a real big target and they're fast. I mean, for the most part, when you see one Impala, you're gonna see a whole group. They're herd animals, like most of the Plains game animals in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. So I'm looking for a mature ram. Now, I don't know the difference between a middle-aged ram and a mature ram, but Yako sure does. And normally I'm shooting my Shaw rifle, but on this hunt, we borrowed a rifle, and the rifle belongs to Yako, and that rifle's got a name, the Black Mamba. I think there's some, there's some Impala on the hill there. Oh, there's got some Impala. Back, back, back. Got some Impala, yeah. Okay, 330, 330. The one on the left, the one on the left. Yes, Got yes. It. Felt like a really good shot. <laughs> it's like Look at that. Five. That felt like a really good shot. It yeah. felt like I hit him back here, right behind the shoulder. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's down. What do you say? Yes. Yes. I like that. What do you say we walk up that guy and check him out? Yes, sir. I think we're going to have a little bit of a tough time finding him in this tall grass, but I'm sure we will. <laughs> okay. Yes, how, far, how far away is he? Yeah, we were standing at 3.30, so he probably ran 30 yards okay. or something. We're gonna go up, we're gonna take the rangefinder. we're gonna go up until we get 350 yards from the truck, okay? And that gives us an idea where he was standing, and then we'll go off in the direction that we think he went. We should be able to find some blood. Oh, there he is. Oh, there look at is. that, I see a horn sticking up. Yes, sir. Look at this beautiful animal. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. A trip to Africa would not be complete without an Impala. Boy, I'll tell you, they're some kind of pretty. Their coloration is beautiful. This, the hair is very short. This right here is the bullet, right there. When you come on a safari, okay, you come with Hunter's Hill, you're gonna get a great pH, but you're gonna get great trackers. Folks, if y'all want more information about hunting opportunities with Hunter's Hill Safaris, I mean, they got it all. Big ones, small ones, they got lots of them, and they got massive amounts of country to hunt. So give them a call. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm, nice one. All right, so we wound up, we just started heading down. It's starting to get warm. This is really the best day we've had so far. And uh, we just, Recovered an Impala, and we stopped. We got Impala down here. How far are they? Uh, 490, 490. So 500 yards, and they are, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they, they keep on moving, they keep on moving. But they have no idea that we're here. Okay. Yes, look at that one. You see the one coming down from the right? He's coming down, like if you look straight down, the thick line of trees, it almost looks like a little red road there. Yes, around yes. It. He, He's coming down to that. Now he's going left, right? Yeah, yeah, he's going, yeah, he's touching, yeah, he's going left, okay. left, left. 
You see that tall uh, yucca, the, the aloe vera? Yeah. Yeah. He's directly in line with that. He's directly in line with that. Okay. All right. That's a two minute hold. Ah, oh, that's a hit. <laughs> that's a hit. Look at him. Look at all of them come out of there. Uh, I think he's gone down. He, he didn't that go brush far. right there. He yeah, he just jumped right into there. that brush and he didn't come out. That's good. That's real good. 500 yards. 500. <laughs> what do you think, yes. Jeff? There a road down there? <laughs> <laughs> these guys, these guys are working it on today. I guarantee you. I mean, <laughs> On any safari you go on with any safari company, the trackers and the pH are what make it. I mean, the safari company would not be a successful safari company without unbelievable trackers and unbelievable pHs. So they're going to go down there and bring him up here, and we'll show you what that impala looks like. Good lord! Thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you. Look at this shot right here. Look at that, 500 yards, double long shot, 500 yards. Come on guys, get over here, get over here. This is a team, this is a team. These guys never stop working, never stop working. And that's the way it's supposed to be. But I just, uh, I'm amazed at the, at how tough these animals are. Yes, that is a beautiful, well-placed shot. And you saw him dive off 15, 20 yards, but the coloration on these guys is remarkable. The, I look at the little black spots on the, on the, legs like this i mean the it's uh i mean they're just beautifully colored animals very nice real nice impala all right guys thank you yes sir thank you very much i mean we have laid them out this morning started yes, with the 50 bmg <laughs> wound up pinning it up with a black mamba and i'll tell you what it doesn't get any better than this So I'm gonna be self-filming on this hunt. I'm gonna be in what they call a hide. This is a, a blind, like we would call it down in Texas. But over here in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, these are hides. And this particular blind, there's a salt lick right out in front of it, about 18 yards. Uh, you know, I was sitting there just waiting on the right animal. Okay, and what I'm looking for, eh, it's just a mature animal, that's all. Cape Buffalo came in. I saw a lot of different, giraffe. I saw lots of different animals, but Nothing really tripped my trigger. So I'm sitting here watching all these animals come and go and I, I'm listening the entire time. What I'm listening for is a shot from Johnny's 50 BMG. So Keith set up in a blind. He's gonna try to do another air gun hunt. And me, I'm joining up with Grant. You know, our boy Yako, he had to go take care of some personal stuff, but Grant is stepping in. And Grant is an awesome guy. He's super nice. And he's actually the helicopter pilot out here. And he's a heck of a pilot but what he also is, is a heck of a pH. So I'm taking Grant, I'm taking the 50 BMG, and we're gonna go see what we can make happen. So sure enough, we end up getting up on a Gemsbuck, and this guy's bedded down, and he's actually in the perfect spot. So I quickly indicted Grant as a cameraman, and I'm on the Gemsbuck with the 50. So I say, Grant, get on the Gemsbuck, and whatever you do, make sure to get the kill shot. Folks, we've been waiting for 30 minutes for this Gemsbuck to stand up, and I'm laying on a rock. My legs are shaking. Don't know why that thing hasn't stood up yet. You ready? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay. You sure you got him in the middle? Yeah, you just, hey! your head's in the way. Just hey, My head's in the way? Okay, we're not doing it then. Yeah, okay, don't shoot. Let me just move, set up again, yeah? Here, bring it up here, bring it up here, Grant. All right, if he goes in there, I'm gonna try to stop okay. him. Still on him? Still on him. Still rolling? Yeah. Okay, well. oh, oh, hey, stop. Hey! I'm not shooting through that brush. Hey! Hey! Okay, just. Hey! Is he out of frame? No, I've got him. You got him? You got him? Yeah. Just watch that rock in front of you, John. Okay, you got him good? Just wait. Okay. You got a rock blocking you? Okay, when you're ready. Is it good? Yeah. You can see him clearly? Clearly. It's perfect. <clears throat> what do you say to that, buddy? Well done, Johnny. That's brilliant. That's an awesome game. 
Oh my gosh. Well done, my friend. I didn't know if that was going to happen or not. Perfect shot. He went probably 60 yards and that was him. Tumbled over just behind the rock there. It was perfect. So he didn't go far at all. It's a very ethical shot. That is a beautiful animal. All right, editor. Are you punched in? Okay, good. Because if you're watching this, folks, and you don't like blood or you're a little squeamish, look away now, please. Because this 50 did a very good job on this gems buck. We'll show it to you now. This is the exit. Okay, that made a very good size hole. It did indeed, that exit is impressive. Yes, and that being said is that is what you want. Behind the shoulder, good spatel shot. I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful ball. I mean, these horns are pretty dang long. Yeah, they're long and they carry his mass, they mass right up to the top, which yeah. is nice. About the length of his body. And then the markings on the face are absolutely beautiful as well. And I'll tell you what, folks, these animals out here are tough as nails. It is amazing to me. Consistently, I get amazed at how far these animals run afterwards. So you may think, oh, 50 BMG is too much gun. I don't think so at all, not for Africa. Not at all. So anyway, this has been an awesome hunt. Now, normally when I shoot, I text Keith like, hey, big buck down or hey, got a hog. But the beautiful part about the 50 is I don't have to text him, okay? He's gonna hear that crack of that rifle and he's gonna know, hey, Johnny got one. I guess I've been sitting in there for several hours and watching different animals come and go, listening for a shot and all of a sudden I heard it. So it was about an hour later, I guess, and all of a sudden I look up and one lone male impala comes walking in. So I just tried to size him up right quick. I mean, he, he was alone, he was mature. I am whispering because I called the guys to come and get me. I wanted to retrieve the animal. I shot him about two hours ago. It is kind of warm. So this is a, a ram impala. It's a real pretty animal. Look at that hole. That's the entry hole. But uh, that was a cool animal, cool hunt. And when he came in, I just looked up and I saw him. And then uh, he came to the salt. They may not be coming to feed right now because everything is so green. There's so much water everywhere, but every animal loves salt. And that's what did him in. Now we've had a lot of success on this trip so far. You know, Keith's been hunting with the air gun and he's taken pretty much every animal on his list. He took out the black mamba and he's been laying them down. So he was like, oh, what do I do now? And I said, Keith, how about you take the 50 BMG? As luck would have it, the black wildebeest are out in front of us. We're trying to pick out the biggest, oldest bull. That's what I want. So Yako picks out the bull that he says is the oldest in the bunch. That one. Are you on Johnny? He's on him, he's on him. Okay, hold on. How far is he at? It's like 120. He's still the closest one. Closest one. He's looking at us, right? Yeah, yes. closest one. That's it. He's gonna go. He's gonna go. And he's down. <laughs> Oh, holy crap. <laughs> Woo, baby. <laughs> Whoa. Well done. Oh, 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 oh. Am I glad I had my ears on? Yeah. I love it when things work out. What do you yes. think? <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Could not have gone better. We wound up, we saw a small group of them and uh, we closed the gap to what, 110? 130. 130. Yeah. Okay, which is just a chip shot this marine 50 bmg no you know everybody watches our 50 bmg videos really to see the the damage that they do take a look first off if you're going to shoot a 50 bmg you better have some ears okay and yako he had his ears plugged with bubble gum but literally, <laughs> let me show you this guy i mean he, he's got a cool looking mane this is a black wildebeest okay and take a look at his boss right here this is an old male i mean he's got a big boss up front and his cape is absolutely beautiful. And, and so with the only shot that I had, a frontal shot on this guy, took it. But I want to show you, I mean, the, as far as the entrance hole goes, 
it was right here, the front of the shoulder, right where you'd shoot one if you're shooting a 243 or 270 or anything else, that front of the shoulder shot. And the bullet goes all the way in him. And the exit, it didn't exit. It's somewhere inside this cavity. And so the thing about it is, uh, a lot of people think, you know, the 50 BMG is just gonna just blow stuff up. Sometimes it does, depending upon where you hit them. But in this case, it didn't. Uh, if you're a, a subscriber to our YouTube channel, uh, that's fantastic. You've probably seen lots of 50 BMG hunts on there. But this black wildebeest, I mean, he wound up, he's a perfect example of how you can take a 50 BMG and you can shoot it and not tear him up real bad, but he didn't go far either. Sure. Thank well you, Yako. Well done. Thank well done. you very, very much, and thank you all for watching. If you're watching online, we appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe to our channel. My name's Keith Warren, and thanks for watching.